My name is Tim Booker and I'm the CEO and co-founder of Agtonomy. I also have my own farming operation called Trattori Farms uh, that I've had since uh, a very young age. At Agtonomy, what we're launching today at the World Ag Expo 2023 is what we call Telefarmer. Telefarmer is a so uh, software suite on uh, tablets as well as smartphones, plus a back-end service. And in addition to that, a reference tractor that we call the Telefarmer 120. So together, this gives farmers the ability to do more with less and to really help them with the labor issues that they've experienced for many decades. Yeah, so a quick tour of the reference tractor we call the Telefarmer 120. Um, it has four electric motors, dedicated uh, drive motors for the rear and the front, plus a dedicated liquid-cooled motor for the power takeoff, uh, which is where the workload, the implements actually operate. Um, this is one of the energy modules. This one happens to be 18 kilowatt hours, but we have a 36 kilowatt hour um, battery pack as well. It has a couple of different charging ports. It has a standard charging port that you can plug in just like you charge your cars today, but it also has a high speed uh, charging port, charging port, uh, DC charging port. Um, we have a small set of batteries inside, um, and that battery is really just to maneuver the vehicle when you're swapping the main energy module. And uh, it has a console on it that is uh, readable in the uh, daylight. Um, and that gives, if you want to do manual operation, it's uh, a nice way to uh, kind of digitally control your, your vehicle. We have sensors on the ROPS as well as up front. Um, and these sensors consist mostly of cameras, inertial measurement units, um, uh, GPS, uh, and, and various other, other sensors. Um, and uh, yeah, that's, that's about it. It has three modes of operation, manual, because we still believe that farmers want to do tasks uh, by jumping on the tractor and doing that task. It also has remote control, so just like a, a drone where you can actually see the video, we broadcast the video live and you can select which camera you want to use and you can operate the vehicle on a, with your smartphone uh, from about a thousand feet away. And then the third mode is driverless, uh, such as uh, these tractors that are operating behind me without any drivers on them. So Agtonomy started really by looking at my own farming operations and the challenges that I was experiencing there with just hiring labor. Uh, there's not many people that want to go into agriculture anymore. There's just too many other opportunities and you know the environment is, is it's, it's not the easiest job but it's a very rewarding job. Um, but there's just been a, a, a big labor shortage and my costs were going up for labor uh, I couldn't get labor to harvest at the right time, at the optimal time. I said, you know, there's got to be a better way. So I uh, started working on a little prototype for making uh, equipment uh, more automated, especially in the fields. So, um, you know, bringing a, a driverless agricultural uh, vehicle that could do different tasks uh, to bear was really the goal. And uh, then I called up some friends and said, hey, what do you think about this? And um, brought together a bunch of folks from the ag world as well as from the tech world, and we started Agtonomy together. So today we officially launched Telefarmer, which is available uh, to customers that we've also announced, Treasury Wine Estates, Silver Oak. We're in uh, early pilot phases with customers right now, uh, mainly in California, and we'll be moving to other states on the western uh, side of the United States. Uh, with a goal of also going international into Europe and Australia um, sometime soon as well. So it's available in limited uh, quantity right now and it's, uh, it's not sold but it's basically farming as a service uh, on a monthly basis, um, a fee for the equipment and all the software in the service. So if you're a farmer who wants to try the Telefarmer solution, uh, you can sign up to be part of our early pilot program. Uh, but ultimately, we are also working with original equipment manufacturers uh, such as Bobcat, which we announced today. They're very well known in construction and ground maintenance. Um, they have a small presence in agriculture, uh, but they announced today a, a, um, a desire to do more innovative solutions uh, in agriculture. Um, and so for us as a company at Actonomy, we're really focused on the software and the service. Uh, pieces and we ultimately don't want to manufacture vehicles. Farming is very interesting. Farmers have trusted brands and so we believe that those trusted brands should 
uh, be the ones that deliver the, the, the vehicles and the service to those farmers. Um, and then we can help those manufacturers accelerate their time to market uh, with these more innovative solutions that give you driverless options and other um, uh, features that farmers really want today. Bobcat did not invest in our company. Um, they just announced a partnership with us to really advance innovation. And uh, we're really excited about that because uh, you look at what they've done with electrification in construction. They have uh, multiple electric excavators and they have a new electric track loader, uh, the TX7, which is a fantastic vehicle. Um, and so they're, they're big believers in electrification uh, and innovation around that um, in construction, ground maintenance, and, uh, and agriculture as well. The first reason we went with electric is for performance. Um, these vehicles, this is a very small vehicle, that our reference tractor, but it's 120 horsepower in such a small compact vehicle. And the only way we were able to achieve that was through electrification. Um, and you can have independent control, like we have an independent motor on the power takeoff. So you don't have to modulate the speed, you can basically set the RPMs and always have a constant speed there. The second thing was costs, and the cost of maintenance is so much less with electric, and the cost of operating on a daily basis. Um, even with high electric rates, you're still paying a fraction of the cost as if you would have to use the same amount of diesel. Um, and then the third thing is the environmental aspect. Um, there are so many farmers now that are doing what's what we call climate smart farming. And uh, electrification is one part of that. So not contributing to um, you know, some of the uh, uh, um, greenhouse gases that combustion engines release. So it's really those three characteristics that cause us to go with that. But there's a fourth reason too. Um, when you're trying to make something driverless, you want to have predictability in how it operates. And because of that high torque, you get so much more predictability, which translates to safety and efficiency with an electric platform. But autonomy can work with combustion engines. Our software and service can. Um, we just chose for our reference vehicle to start with kind of where we see um, you know, the puck going. So one of the things we did at autonomy is we look back at power tools. And power tools all used to be corded. And then in the 80s and the 90s, they started to get batteries. And now today, it's actually hard to find a corded power tool. And they have these battery packs uh, from you know, DeWalt and Makita and pretty much every power tool company. So there was a massive transformation that went through when it came to energy storage. Batteries have evolved a lot. Um, what we've done is we've put a small battery inside of the main chassis of the reference tractor and then a larger, what we call energy module, that sits on the back. So if you look at the tractors, um, there's a big box on the back, and that's, uh, you know, it can be between 18 kilowatt hours to 36 kilowatt hours, and it can give you anywhere from six to 12 hours of runtime. But more importantly, that rear pack can actually be swapped autonomously. So the computers will switch over to the internal batteries, we maneuver over to a charging cart, autonomously drop off the battery, which we're actually demonstrating here at World Ag Expo. And then you can go and pick up a fully charged battery and continue operation, just like you would remove a battery from a power tool and pop on a new one. So it's not a new concept, but it's one that we think applies uh, just as well to agriculture um, as it has uh, applied to the industrial applications of power tools, which, by the way, most farmers use today as well. You know, one thing that's uh, possible with a vehicle of this size and with electric motors is that the cost can be really low. So, you know, these very high performance motors can be between $400 to $1,000. And again, mainly because of the technology that has been, um, really the costs have been driven down by other um, segments like the automotive industry. Um, what we're doing is we're offering the equipment and the software on a monthly service fee. Um, and that can be, uh, that can range, but it's, it's uh, typically in a couple thousand dollar range per month. per month. So 2023 is an exciting year for us because we will be scaling the farming as a service operation, which really, it's a pilot program that helps us learn with our partners, um, you know, how to refine the solutions that we're creating. Now, we're very focused on specialty crops. Um, we have about 30 different implements that we've been using. 
Uh, today we're showing a couple of implements. We actually have one tractor that's doing two things at once. We believe there's a huge opportunity in smart implements in the future.